make decisions, especially during a crisis, we, we need to make what I call PGE decisions. The P stands for pains. What's, what's the potential huge loss in this situation? The G stands for gains. What's the, what's the upside? What's the potential win in this situation? But the letter E is all about experience. And the question for leaders during crisis time is how much experience do you have leading in a crisis? Because in a crisis, intuition, sensing what to do, timing, sensing when to do it, all that comes in. And all of that is birthed out of practice of leadership in experiences. You see, explaining why you make a decision sometimes is as important as what the decision is because it's in the why that other people are trained and developed. And I watched Mark and his thinking and his decisions align with his values. You know, Roy Disney, Walt's brother, said, when you know what your values are, it's easy to make decisions. And in the John Maxwell team, I watched Mark do this because in the John Maxwell team, people are the highest value. In fact, what we teach our John Maxwell team members is very simple. We are people of value who value people and add value to them. That's what we do. We're people of value who value you. And then we intentionally go out and we add value to you in any way possible. You see, a crisis exaggerates the negative. And good leaders deal with as much of the negative before it happens as they possibly can. Quick story. When I wrote the 21 Erie Football Laws of Leadership, we went on a literally a, 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 a tour for one week uh, using a private jet, three cities every day, started on the East Coast, 21 cities in, in, in one week, breakfast at one location, lunch at another, dinner at another, talking about the book. By the time, uh, by the time we were out in Dallas, the book was already a bestseller on the list. and We were all excited because we'd put a heavy weekend, we're coming back in. And we were flying in, 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 in into Atlanta. And about 50 feet from the ground, we hit a wind shear. And literally, that, that private plane of ours just immediately dropped and, and hit the runway. Just, it just like that. Just, and immediately, we were all frightened because that, that we didn't land. We dropped. There's a difference between landing and dropping. And what's interesting is as soon as that wheel and that drop hit that runway, the pilot took the, took the plane right up back up in the air. I mean, immediately. I mean, so quick that any fear that we had was kind of like, oh, wow, Ooh, we're still in the air. Circled, came back in, landed the plane. We got off the plane, and I, I went over and kissed the ground, congratulated the pilot, and I said, it was amazing that you could make a decision that fast. I mean, the, 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 those wheels hit that, dropped, hit that runway, and you were back in it. It's amazing that kind of a decision that you could make. And so I'm talking to him about it. And he looks at me and he said, look, John, John, he said, you don't understand. He's, and I said, what don't I understand? He said, what you don't understand is I made that decision 20 years ago. He said, as a pilot, I've gone through everything I could possibly think of that could be a problem. And I always said, what will I do in that situation? And I have a game plan for every problem. And he said, my game plan was if I, if I land, I'll land well, get back up in the air. Because he said, the air has a lot more room for for mistakes than the ground does. <laughs> and he was right on that. But what am I saying about it? Great leaders, great leaders, they think things through on the front end. And, and, and when, the, when the sea is not smooth, remember this, yeah, no sailor ever distinguished himself on a smooth sea. The distinguishing part is what you do during the rough times. By the way, it's true of every leader. You look at the great leaders in the history of the world, and they all took their people to a time of crisis successfully. Lincoln, Churchill, 9-11, Giuliani, Martin Luther King. You see, the cinema, the cinema of great crisis is great leadership. And what I'm so proud is that Mark, Mark put the people before everything else. 